week two of the NHL 24 free agency event has begun. Your new MSPs are Daniel Briere, Ray Whitney, Adam Graves, and Alex Petrangelo. And the Alex Petrangelo can be upgraded to 99 overall doing objectives. Other free agency cards include Dadnov, Numenin, Tavares, Belfour, Gianta, and Hosa, as well as Commodore, Brian Elliott, Brendan Saad, Ryan Graves, Carson Soucy, and Ryan Reeves. There is a 96 overall Scott Gomez that you can earn through moments and objectives. And there's actually a ton of different cards you can earn by playing the game, so let's go through everything you can get. If you head over to the Hut Moments tab, it's going to work the same way as the Ryan Suter last week. So what you're going to want to do is play one single game. If you take six shots with that Scott Gomez in that game, you'll get an 88 overall Scott Gomez. Moment number two is make eight passes. Moment number three is score one goal. Moment number four is get two points. And moment number five is win the game. If you do this moment here on Pro Difficulty, you'll get an upgrade token to make Gomez a 90 overall. Moment number six, you need to win two face-offs. Moment number seven, you need to score two goals. Moment number eight, you need to get two assists. Moment number nine is score three goals on pro difficulty in the third period. And moment number 10 is win the game on pro difficulty. You start out down by two in the third period, so you got to make that comeback, but it is on pro, and doing that will allow you to upgrade Gomez to 92 overall. Once you have the Gomez, you can go ahead and start doing the objectives. So if you get five assists with him, you'll get 3,000 coins, 25 assists for a premium player pack, and 45 assists for a free agency upgrade token to get him to a 94 overall. And then you need to score 10 goals, 30 goals, and 50 goals to get him up to a 96. Taking a look at the Scott Gomez that you can earn, looks like a pretty solid card, not going to lie to you, especially to get him up all the way to 96. He has 96 speed and excel, 97s for the shot, good hands, good checking. Uh, you can get his face-offs all the way up to 99. Checking boost, I mean, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good card. It's not amazing, but it's good, especially if you're just starting out. He has gold puck on a string, silver close quarters, make it snappy, beauty backhand, and tape to tape. Other objectives include winning nine face-offs for an 85 overall player, getting 95 hits for an 85. This one and this one should technically work the same. The shoulder check and body check, they should work the same. Make 125 passes, get 100 assists, 125 total games, and doing all of that will get you a random 90 overall free agency player. Then heading into Hut Rush, if you scroll all the way through, there is, of course, some random 85s available in here, but if you head more towards the end, there's a random 88 and a random 90 available as well. If you do absolutely everything here, you should be able to get yourselves one of the MSPs. Speaking of the MSPs, here's a look at Ray Whitney. Now, I'm gonna be making this card because he did play for the Detroit Red Wings, so I'm gonna put him on the Red Wings squad. He looks pretty solid. He does gold elite edges, silver snipe, puck on a string, beauty backhand, and tape to tape. The only issue being he's five foot 10, and a lot of people don't like small forwards. However, I do, and this is a perfect card for me. Next up is Danny Briere, a five foot nine forward. Yeah, it's a small uh, MSP week, apparently. He has gold wheels, silver all alone, shrug it off, make it snappy, and ankle breaker, 99 and all of the offensive stats. Next up, we have six foot forward Adam Graves. Gold and supple before, silver big tipper, truculence, back at you, and close quarters. Looks like a very good card, and not only did he play for the Spitfires, he did play for the Red Wings as well. Perfect card for me to grab. Last but not least, here's a look at the Alex Petrangelo. Here he is at 98 overall, looks pretty solid. And then, of course, at 99, you unlock Shutdown. He has Gold Heat Seeker, Silver Quick Pick, Born Leader, Elite Edges, and Send It. A very good defenseman, especially at 99. But even at 98, this is one of the better defensive cards in the game. Now, if you want to get Petrangelo up to 99 overall, you're going to have to make his MSP and then get 120 hits, do 30 deeks, take 75 shots, get 75 assists, and 30 goals with the card. You're going to get 15,000 coins here and you'll get that free agency collectible to upgrade Petrangelo to 99. Is it worth it in my opinion? Hell no. Now, if you wanna make any of the MSPs, it's gonna work the same way as last week and the same way as the awards event. You're gonna trade in seven 85s for an 88 overall player. You need two 88 overall players for a 90, and three 90s, an 88, and an 85 for a 96 overall choice pack. And lastly, two 96s to make one of the MSPs at 98. It's a lot of work, but at least you do get a lot of cards to put towards the set, so that way you don't actually have to use your collection, but I don't know. It's not my favorite thing. I like that they tried something different, but I don't think it landed. In terms of packs that are available, we have the 96 overall ultimate free agency pack, uh, 650,000 coins, six items, one 96 free agency player. The 88 free agency boost pack, we have the, uh, the choice pack for 270,000 coins with a greater chance at one of these cards. 270,000 coins for a 50-50 shot at a purple is ridiculous. And then you have the 80k Elite Free Agency Pack, 10 gold players, a greater chance at a uh, free agency card, 10% chance at a purple. 
Somehow we're later in the year and the odds of getting good pulls is actually lower. It doesn't make any sense. We also have this 86 plus overall mini choice pack. One of three guaranteed purple cards, but only a 52% chance of it being a 92 or better. For 525,000 coins, do not buy this. Another week of earning an absolute ton of cards by playing the game. You go get that uh, Gomez and you can use that suitor. You can get all these things done fairly quickly as we probably head into the final event in seven days from now. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Go get that Gomez. I'm going to do all the moments and I'll have that video out for you tomorrow. For now, I'm gone, but I'll see you very soon with a brand new video. And let me know down below what you think of the brand new MSPs here in NHL 24. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.